Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. Today we're gonna to talk about big steam engines. Stay tuned. We're gonna talk about the Corliss steam engine invented by George Corliss. Very significant piece of American steam history, but one particular Corliss steam engine has a unique story. So let's get into it. So before I get into the story, here's what you need to know about the Corliss steam engine. So it was fitted with rotary valves, sometimes two, sometimes bigger, in most cases four, and had a variable valve timing that was patented in 1849 by inventor George Henry Corliss. Now, they were loved by all because they had great thermal efficiency, but these were massive, massive engines, and oftentimes they were used to provide mechanical power to factories and mills and to drive dynamos and generate electricity. They turned massive, massive flywheels, as you can see in these pictures. But here's the story that I wanted to tell you. Not just any Corliss engine, but the Corliss Centennial engine was an all-inclusive, specially built rotative beam engine. And you can tell the beam by this big arm that goes across the top here. That's what makes it a beam engine. Well, the Centennial Exposition occurred May 10th of 1876. With nearly 200,000 visitors, they came to watch this large engine. Now, it took almost over a mile in length of shafts running from the central powerhouse to all the different machinery, and they were all powered by that Corliss engine. And it was quite an unveiling, and people liken it to something groundbreaking like, you know, the iPad. And it wasn't just a demonstration piece. Through a system of shafts and underground tunnels, the Corliss engine directly powered over 800 machines at the exhibition. So this particular engine was configured with two cylinders side by side, and it was 45 feet tall, had a flywheel of 30 feet, and produced 1,400 horsepower. And if you'd like to see a Corliss engine up close and personal, you can go to the National Museum of Industrial History in Pennsylvania. They have one on the floor. Now, after the exposition was over, the, the engine was dismantled, and it was used in a couple of factories until it was eventually mothballed. It was a pretty significant piece of history. Now, you can go Google, Corliss Engine Philadelphia, or you can just show up on our site because we've got it for you each and every week. We're gonna work hard to present some interesting material, some educational, some fun, but something about steam that maybe you didn't know. Thanks for joining us.